proud of these laws in our communities. How how low would the murder rate be? How low would the violence be? It'll be very low if we was to apply these simple commandments. But you got these filthy, stinking, dumb lying churches standing up in these communities not teaching our people a damn thing. That's right. They ain't teaching this in the Bible. They ain't teaching this in the church. This church, the, every church you see, they got a Bible in it, but they don't teach nothing in it. They teach, you know what they teach in the church? I was in the church at one point, and I got out of that madness. You know what they teach? They teach come as you are. Come as you are, stay as you are. You don't have to change. Everything is good, no laws is to be kept. That's why the communities is the way they are. Give me to, uh, Psalm 94 and verse 16. Because this is, God got a message for y'all. It's no coincidence that y'all came and stood before us today. Read the scriptures, all right? Give me that when you get it. Psalm 94 and verse 16. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? So read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? God, hey, Greg, Mike, that's a question God is asking y'all. It said, who going to rise up for me against the evildoers? You understand? Who is going to take the commandments of God and enforce them? You understand? That's what God is going into. So what are some of the ways of evildoers, Greg? Give me some ways. They corrupt things. They, they corrupt, corrupt things, right? Huh? Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. What's, what about you, Mike? I mean, they just try to destroy your race. They try to destroy your race. But I'm talking about, read it again. Who will rise up for me? Against the evil doer. Who will rise up for God against people that do evil? Now, y'all was talking about the enemy, but now God is getting more specific. We want to know who's going to rise up in the communities. Which one of you men going to rise up and raise up and enforce my commandments? That's what God wanted to know. Who going to stop the drug dealing? Who going to come over here and tell the drug dealer to put the drugs down? Who going to come up on the community and tell the gangbang to stop the violence? Who going to come up and tell... The, uh, 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 the sisters to stop setting, setting they behind. You understand? God want to know who's going to rise up to do that. That's a question for y'all. Are y'all going to be the brothers who do it? God wants y'all to do it because it's time, brother. What's going to come to this place is nuclear thermal destruction. Nuclear fire is what's going to happen to America. America is on the brink of destruction. You understand? And God in these last days is trying to put his spirit on y'all so y'all to rise up. You understand? Because it's because it's time, brothers. Who gonna stand up for God and tell a sister to put on a dress? Take off those pants, sister, and put on a modest dress. Right. Clean yourself up. We don't want to see your titties. We don't want to see your booty. We don't want to see none of that. We want to see you clean up, get your man right, okay? We want to tell a brother, the gangbanging brother, to stop hating your brother in your heart. Right. That's what God wants us to, want us to do. Stop hating your brother in your heart. You understand? God want man to stand up in the communities and fix it. Give me that in um, Leviticus 19, 19 and uh, 17. God want you man to stop hating your people. Stop saying, God want man to stand up and tell a drug dealer to stop selling dope in the communities. Stop selling heroin in the communities. Yes, stop selling rocks in the communities. Stop selling blows in the community. All right? Brothers, brothers go up and, uh, up and down the streets all day selling dope. Okay? Brothers go up in these streets all day tooting dope, nodding, leaning. You understand? God said no. That is unclean. That's what it meant. Who gonna rise up for me against the evil doers? That is evil and unclean in the sight of God. So brothers, if you are in the midst of that, God said, repent! 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 You black and Hispanic man. That's what God wants y'all to do. Sisters, y'all repent too. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You know what God said? God said you are not to hate your brother in your heart. Meaning you are not to sell dope to your brother in your heart. You are not to fight your brother. You are not to go out talking about GD verse BD, Blackstone verse this, this verse that. You understand that? God said that is hatred. God said don't do that. If we apply that to Chicago, how low would a murder rate be? How do you tell, Greg, well, how low would the murder rate be? It'll, be? it'll be a lot lower. If we apply that simple law, but God, you understand? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Do what? Rebuke thy neighbor. Do what? 
rebuke thy neighbor. God said to rebuke your neighbor. That's why he said in Psalms 94, 16, who gonna rise up for me against the evildoers? Because he wants his neighbor to be rebuked. He wants you to tell your brother, stop selling dope. Stop sleeping with this man's wife. Okay? Come on. Stop sleeping with your stop sleeping with this man's wife. Alright? Stop uh uh banging on one another. Stop sliding on one another. You no. understand that? You are not an op. Your brother is not your opposition. Your brother is your brother. Stop it with the madness. That's what God is saying. Read. Thou shalt in any rise rebuke thy neighbor Come on. and not suffer sin upon him. We are not to suffer sin on our brothers, and that's why we out here today. We ain't out here to get paid. We out here for, to, to, to bring y'all to the repentance. We out here to bring solutions to the problems that we face. You understand that? Give me, um, give me three here. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Greg, God said you are not to do avenge. What is that talking about, Greg? I can't hear you. Step up. Read it again. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge. Hey, my brother with the glasses, come forth. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You hear that? So what does that mean? No, you was you was took it first, but you dropped the ball. Read it again. Thou shalt not avenge. So that's the bars you got right, meaning a vendetta or, or a grudge against the children of your people. If the people oppress you, is that your people? No. Those are not your people. Read it again. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any Great. grudge against the children of thy people. Against the children of your people. So who is your people, Greg? Yeah. Right, which are, what are they call today? The, your fellow black man. It's talking about him, your fellow Hispanic man. God said, don't hold no grudge against him. If we were to apply to these laws in our communities, how, how low would the murder rate be? How low would the violence be? It would be very low if we were to apply these simple commandments. But you got these filthy, stinking, dumb line churches standing up in these communities not teaching our people a damn thing. That's right. They ain't teaching this in the Bible. They ain't teaching this in the church. This church, every church you see, they got a Bible in it, but they don't teach nothing in it. They teach, you know what they teach in the church? I was in the church at one point, and I got out of that madness. You know what they teach? They teach, come as you are. Come as you are, stay as you are. You don't have to change. Everything is good, no laws is to be kept. That's why the communities is the way they are. Because of these lying, stinking, covetous churches. What'd you say, Greg? The law of Satan. Huh? That's the law of Satan. That's the, right, that's the law of Satan. Satan, come, this guy. Where he at? This dude commit this dude right here? Who is this? This ain't Jesus Christ, brother. This is not Jesus the Christ. This the, this the one who the world say Jesus Christ is. You can't find this the image in no Bible on the earth. This is not Jesus Christ. This this dude right here was a, a damn sodomite. That's what that dude was right there. But but God and he God said he wants you to read it again. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So God said, you black and Hispanic, y'all are not the whole revenge on your people, the children of your people. If we were to apply these simple laws in our communities, the violent rate would be low. The, 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 the murder rate would be low. You understand that? These are simple commandments of God that you black men got to get back to applying in your life. You understand that? This is what's going to clean up the communities. We are here to, to bring change. We are here with solutions for our people. We tired of this madness that's going on. We, we love our people. That's why we're here. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.